Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. This side, Asif Himnad. In today's video, we are going to talk about what is the difference between random forest and the decision tree. And when should we think of using random forest? What are the benefits? What are the pros and what are the cons of random forest? When and why I should think of using this random forest algorithm, right? So this video is in continuation with the previous video where we explained what is random forest and how it predicts the better accuracy than any other algorithms out there. Okay, so for now, let's talk about when, why, random forest and difference between decision tree and random forest. Let's get started. When should we think of using random forest is the first question, right? So if you remember in the previous videos we discussed, random forest is useful when you have a huge data, when you have a complex data. So what random forest does is it splits your data into the smaller chunks. It takes the subset of the data and creates the individual trees from the big chunk of data, right? So definitely that will reduce the training time because the data is small, right? And hence it is faster as compared to other algorithms. So that is the first reason. So you can say in simple words, when you have a huge data, it is comparatively faster than other algorithm. The second reason is definitely it predicts the output with high accuracy, even for the large data sets, it runs efficiently. Because if you remember, if you have a huge data, you really have a big data where you need a faster algorithm and you also need the high accuracy where it works on the concept called ensemble learning where it creates the multiple decision trees out of different subset of the data and takes the majority voting right it creates a multiple decision trees and takes the majority voting and that is why it gives the high accuracy so we definitely prefer random forest than the other algorithm there are also chances that when you have a huge data you may not get the data in all the columns so there are chances is that large portion of the data is missing because of the fact that the random forest creates the subset from the huge data and creates the independent decision trees out of the huge data that is why it is able to maintain the accuracy right so even if you have a large portion of the data missing it will maintain the accuracy of the model amazing right so these are the main three reasons when you should think of using random forest what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages let's understand that so definitely random forest is the first choice when you have a large data set so this second point is most important when you have high dimensionality meaning you have multiple features to be considered you have multiple columns to be considered right and random forest is capable of performing both classification and regression tasks definitely it is supervised learning method it can do classification and it can also do regression so in case of classification it takes majority votes and in case of regression task where you have a continuous data it takes the average and gives you the prediction one of the biggest advantage of using random forest is that it enhances the accuracy of the model and prevents the overfitting issue so if you remember the biggest disadvantage that we had with the decision tree is overfitting right because we allow the tree to grow if you don't understand what i'm saying here you have to watch the decision tree algorithm video first so decision tree algorithm has a tendency to overfit right so because as you're creating only one tree out of the data it keeps growing unless and until you don't cut the tree so the max depth if you remember we decide the max depth of the tree and if i don't cut the tree if i don't define the max depth it will overfit okay so the accuracy of the model will be above 90 percent above 95 percent which is not good on training you are getting very high accuracy but on testing or in real life the accuracy is really low that is overfitting right in case of random forest that will not happen because simply you are creating multiple decision trees and from all of these decision trees you are finding out the output you are taking the majority vote so that is why it prevent the overfitting issue so one difference you might have got here easily random forest prevents from overfitting whereas decision tree has a tendency to overfit i would say only one disadvantage of random forest here the random forest is used in both classification and regression tasks but uh, you know it is not really suitable for the regression task when why we can discuss that in other videos but yes it works best in the classification techniques all right this is about pros and cons of random forest let's see what are the differences between decision tree and random forest so this is one of the most frequently asked question in the interviews that is what is the difference between decision tree and random forest random forest is a collection of decision trees but still there are a lot of differences in their behavior 
decision trees normally suffer from overfitting this is what we were discussing right so decision tree has a tendency to overfit because it allow a tree to grow without any control because there is only one tree that you are creating right but in random forest you are creating subset of the data and the final output is based on the majority or the average and hence based on the majority voting you are predicting the final outputs and that is why we are preventing the problem of overfitting here okay so in simple words decision tree has a tendency to overfit and random forest prevents from overfitting decision tree is faster because it has to create only one tree and do the computation whereas in random forest it creates multiple trees first it splits the data and creates the multiple trees and take the majority voting so comparatively definitely it is slower and third difference is when a data set with the features is taken as input when decision tree receives the data as an input decision tree uses some formulas some rules to predict the output whereas in random forest it is randomly selecting the observation randomly selecting the data right and building the decision trees and the average of all of these decision trees is taken and hence there is no need to use set of formulas here to predict the output because we already have the majority voting there so these are the simple differences between decision tree and the random forest right. all right i hope you understood why we should use random forest when we should use random forest what are the advantages disadvantages of random forest and also understood the difference between decision tree and random forest all right so that is it for this video i hope these videos adding value in your life in your career if so make sure to like subscribe and comment that is it for this video thank you see you in the next bye bye